Welcome back to another episode of Slingshot Squirrel Hunter. Now today, I'm going to try to answer a question from an email that I got from a fellow named Jerry from New Jersey. Yeah, let me see what he's got here. It says, uh, Dear Squirrel Hunter, I watch your show all the time and I never miss an episode. That's a good man there, Jerry. Appreciate it. He said, around my neighborhood, we have a big problem with the Canadian geese. They tear up our lawns and crap all over the place. How can we get rid of these pests? I sympathize with you, Jerry. Just between you and me, I think them Canadians ain't nothing but a flock of foreigners, if you know what I mean. They come down here, pretend that they don't see no border. They're flying along, flying along, looking on down. Don't see no lines on the ground saying, keep out. Maybe we ought to put that in there. Sound like a good idea to me. Birds go home, this way, help them out some. Anyway, they come down here, supposing to be migrants, but they see how nice it is down here, much nicer than Canada, for sure. And they settle down, start to raise their families. You know the way they breed, them Canadians. Well, you know it. We got millions of Canadians down here crapping all over the place. You just can't stand for it. What's what's a person to do? That's the question. It's an international problem. Now, some people claim that we should build a wall. You know, we tried the wall down south and it, it didn't work. You know, we'd have to build a wall 10,000 feet high. And you know some of them geese going to fly right over that wall. And the ones that can't make it over the wall, they're just going to tunnel underneath it. You know the way they do. Now what are you going to do with these, the children of, of, of the Canadians that come down here and then they're born here? Now, now, are they still Canadian? See, there's a big international problem. Now, some states they don't allow you to hunt them. So, what you going to do? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's an international problem. They even got their own lobbying group down there in Washington, D.C. Call themselves Birds Without Borders. Can you imagine? Tell you, Jerry, if you got yourself a nice dog, they kind of keep them in check, if you know what I mean. But not everybody can have them. Good bird dog. One solution is to get yourself a nice slingshot. Some eight millimeter ball bearings. And you flick that right at their tail. It hits them in the head. That's their problem. It will get their attention. It works for me. Good luck. 